Hello, welcome back to Web Squadron. We are going to do a really, really simple tutorial on how can we have a logo um, that is kind of sandwiched between your menus. Okay, so let's say you've got, say, six menu items. Okay, you want three here, and three here, and you want the logo to be bang in the middle, not above, because if it was above, you could easily do that with like, you know, like uh, two widgets within one section. But what we want is you got your logo here, not sorry, you got your menu like that, and in this you want a space in the middle, and then you want your logo bang in the middle. Now, how do you do that? Dead easy. But what you are gonna have to do though is split your menu. Okay, so what you gotta think of is go to appearance, right? Go to menus, okay, and what you're gonna do is create two menus. So let's pretend in my menu, uh, I don't know, let's just add this like that. Okay, so we've got three items. This is rubbish. I need to have four, don't I? But let's just go with three for now. Sizes, section, delay. Don't ask me about these page names, okay? These are fake pages that I use for training and stuff like that. Okay, what I'm going to do is that is my main menu. And I'm going to leave it like that. Why? Because that's the menu I will probably be using for the uh, tablet or the mobile. So it all has to be together. So you're going to want to keep it, right? But for the section, which will be visible on the desktop, we want it separated. So what we're going to do is, let me just save that. So we keep that one for the, did I save that? Yeah, I did save that. We keep that for the mobile. I'm going to create a new menu. Okay, and I'm just going to call this menu left M, left menu, right? Okay, so well, let me just move myself up here. I'm flying in the sky. Right, so create, save menu. Excellent, cool. And I'm just going to stick delay. And I'm going to add that to the menu and I'm going to hit save. Job done. Right, let's create another menu. And I'm going to call this one right menu. Let's create that. And I'm pretty sure you know what I'm doing here now. I'm just going to add these in. Boom, 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 boom. Save. Okay, so that's pretty simple. We're then going to go over to templates and we'll just click save templates. And we're going to click add new. And I'm going to call, we're going to call this header. And I'm going to call this uh, mid logo header. Pick a better name. Do not follow my naming convention because it is utter rubbish. Right, okay, so I'm not going to pick any of these templates. I'm going to close that down. And I'm now going to create a section with three columns, like so. So in the middle here, I'm going to put a image like so, and I'm gonna just pick, uh, let's just go for the elemental logo. Okay, there we go, let's just go with that. I'm then just gonna modify the size of this, okay, so uh, in fact, what we'll do is we'll make this column be uh, uh, 40, and we'll make this column be 40 as well. So that's now, well, that should be 20. I never get why elemental does this, it always does like point, but anyway, that's roughly the size we want to do. On the left-hand side, we're now going to add in our nav menu. So we'll add in our nav menu. Ooh, come on, man. There we go. We add in our nav menu. Oh, it's because I did it twice. Silly me. So I added in my nav menu, and I'm going to call this left. And I'm just going to change the style of this to be dark. And I'm just going to put this in to be a vertical line as in middle. Um, I just deleted what I'm doing. How silly am I? Right, there we go. Just gonna set my section as well to be vertically aligned middle as well. Um, I'm gonna set it to be full width, uh, no gap, and the height, I'm just gonna say a uh, minimum height, and just set as a zero like that. Mess around, please, okay? I'm gonna copy this, paste this over here, so now it's exactly the same, but instead I'm gonna click it, and I'm gonna pick the right menu. So now we have the right menu. Okay, right. Now, how you want to lay this out is entirely up to you. So you might decide that you want to have this like, you know, centered like that, or same with this one as well, or have it starting like this. So it's now kind of going that way. It, it's, it's up to you. You go with what you want to go for, how you want to position it. Okay, I, I'm not going to, or you could stretch it. You know, it's, uh, it's entirely up to you. What I'm trying to get across, though, is that if this was now displaying on your screen, etc and you've got a page layout now however you've colored it and styled it you now have a logo dissecting between your menu okay and that's fine for the desktop 
But when you get to the mobile, what you really want to be doing, in my opinion, is you want to have a duplicate of this section. You want to make sure that that section at the top or your responsive is, um, I would probably say hide it on the tablet and mobile. Double check it, it might be fine for the tablet. And then the bottom one, we are going to say hide for the desktop, but have it visible on the mobile. And then what you'll do is you'll go to your mobile view and you will then just obviously mess around with it. So at the minute, can you see when we go to mobile, we've got left menu, right menu. That's not so good. Don't, don't, there we go, 100. Okay, so what I've done is I've just set this to be 100 pixels in width and maximum width, so it shows. So we've got a left and the right. This is where you might want to like, you know, get rid of, um, get rid of this one. And this bottom one here, change this to be the main menu. So now, and again, style it accordingly. Get rid of uh, that column as well. Style it accordingly. You know, I mean, I would probably say you're better off making this about, uh, just go with a 50 and change that one to also be a 50. Okay. Again, style it how you want. Have that more to the left. Have it more to the right. Align it exactly how you want. You know, have it have it exactly how you want. You know, like I said, give it a bit of padding. Uh, in fact, let's just do that. Okay, uh, let's just give it some right padding of about twenty or something like that. Oops. Right. So what happens is when we're viewing this on a desktop, okay, you've got your logo, menu, menu, menu left, right side. When you go to your mobile view now, you've got your logo and now you will have, oh dear, oh dear, I've rushed it. Let's just go back to that menu. Just go over here and do full width, okay? Deadly important that you do that. Stop hitting publish. Right, let's just go back into that. And if we just increase the width of that a little bit, again, style it accordingly with your font, your typography, your sizing, your padding, all of that. You now have a different menu for your mobile. Before your desktop, you have your logo menu menu. I hope that made sense, yeah? Like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.